I will show you how to get the best understanding of the circulatory system for your EGCC. Welcome back to IGCC Study Guides. Stick around if you want to ace Chapter 9. The circulatory system is like your body's delivery service moving oxygen, nutrients, and waste around non-stop. But did you know there are two types? Fish have a single circulatory system blood passes through the heart once in each circuit. Humans? We've got a double system blood goes to the heart twice once to the lungs then to the body. Your heart is the superstar pumping blood through arteries, veins, and capillaries. Blood itself is a mix red cells carry oxygen. White cells like lymphocytes and phagocytes fight invaders. Think of them as your body's SWAT team. Platelets? They patch up wounds so you don't leak like a sieve. Remember, arteries equal sign away from heart, veins equal sign toward heart, capillaries equal sign exchange zone. Nail these basics and you'll crush your exam. Let's take a closer look at the heart's structure. It's more than just a pump. Imagine the heart as a four-roomed house, with each room playing a special role. At the top, you'll find the right atrium and the left atrium. These are the entry halls where blood first arrives. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body, while the left atrium gets oxygen-rich blood from the lungs. Below the atria are the ventricles. The right and left ventricles are the heart's powerful pumping rooms. The right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen. The left ventricle, the strongest chamber, sends oxygenated blood all around your body. Separating the right and left sides is the septum, a thick wall that keeps oxygen-rich and oxygen-poor blood from mixing. Now, let's talk about the heart's doors. These are the valves that keep blood moving the right way. On the right side, you'll find the tricuspid valve. It stops blood from flowing backward into the right atrium. On the left, there's the bicuspid or mitral valve, which does the same job for the left side. At the exits of the ventricles are the semilunar valves, like one-way gates that prevent blood from flowing back into the heart. All these parts work together to keep your blood moving and your body healthy. Master these details, and you'll be ready for any IGCSE question on the heart. Stay tuned for more IGCC submersed content.